Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Anu Rao from Configure Consulting. Just wanted to welcome you all to our Total Service Availability Monitoring webinar. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, this afternoon. Today, uh, myself and my colleague Chris Tessier, who is the Configure Consulting Practice Lead for the monitoring area, will be providing you with an overview of our EHR monitoring solution, uh, as well as talking about some of the trends and needs that we are seeing uh, within IT healthcare. Before we get started, I'd just like to go over a couple of guidelines for today's webinar. Please keep in mind that the webinar is being recorded and all lines are currently muted. Also, please be aware that if you put your phone on hold or if you switch to another line uh, on the same phone that you're using, hold music or some kind of message may play to the audience on this call. Uh, so please avoid that. And as well, please hold all questions until the end of the presentation. Alternatively, you can feel free to post questions within the question manager panel of this webinar. Uh, those questions we will address at the end of the presentation and we look forward to any other uh, live questions you may have at that time as well. Before we get started with today's agenda, I'd like to give everyone an overview of Configure Consulting. Uh, Configure Consulting is a technology consultancy firm with operations across North America. Uh, we are an HP and a VMware uh, software partner focusing on solutions that support IT operations across a number of verticals. Um, we've had tremendous success within the healthcare vertical in particular, uh, working with clients across the continent, and it's through this experience that we've understood quite a bit about the EHR environment and also the challenges that some of our clients uh, have reported to us. So today we'll be uh, talking about an overview of the general trend uh, and the general series of concerns that we're, we're hearing from our uh, counterparts within the healthcare environment, talking about some of the pressures that we're seeing specifically on healthcare IT, uh, going over what we view as traditional system monitoring, and also walking through a scenario of performance and availability measurement within the EHR environment. That will lead into uh, a discussion on integrated in incident response which is aligning EHR monitoring with incident response for reducing mean time to repair and uh, improving resolution time. Finally, we'll be talking about proactive business process monitoring and giving you a snapshot of our 30-day quick start package for uh, business process monitoring that is entirely EHR specific. So at a high level, um, we're seeing that under pressure to manage increasingly complex EHR environments uh, and also improve transaction times, IT administrators are facing a host of issues that come down to a fundamental uh, drives availability concerns. Um, risk management concerns and also can lead uh, or, or rather also can expose a number of vulnerabilities within uh, the process of managing the EHR. And today's presentation will focus on a holistic approach to monitoring, which is an end user experience focused approach to monitoring um, that builds on traditional system management to support overall increased performance and availability of your EHR. So on the screen, I'd like to point, you, uh, point your attention to the customer quotes that we've listed uh, in the body of the text here. A lot of this uh, will be very familiar to, to those of you um, on the healthcare provider side uh, managing EHR and cl clinical applications. Uh, these systems are, are huge and span uh, numerous operations teams from database to network to server uh, to compliance even teams. And so monitoring all the changes and all the events uh, around these applications can be a challenge. And it can also be a challenge even when things are going well uh, to keep track of the KPIs that matter 
and, and the KPIs that align to strategic goals. Uh, needless to say, the EHR systems are top security and highly critical. Any kind of downtime and any kind of performance issues are taken note of um, by management, by operations team, as well as by end users, which can include patients. Additionally, C-level executives know how much they're investing in, in the EHR environment. Um, these are multi-million dollar systems, and even when they're performing well, uh, it can be difficult to monitor that performance and to be able to report on how things are going and how well things are going. And the last bullet here, when there's a problem with a clinical application, uh, there can be hundreds of red alerts that, that need to be filtered through before you actually figure out uh, what the cause of the problem is. Uh, this can take hours before you even start to solve that problem. So this highlights and this underscores the sentiment that monitoring is a challenge, that we're monitoring a lot. And even with this breadth of monitoring, it's difficult to know what, where exact issues are coming from and where exact performance uh, lags are coming from. And the solution uh, to this broad set of challenges comes from the messages that you see in the colorful squares at the top of your screen. Healthcare organizations are looking for a way to track any kind of changes and also identify policy breaches around uh, their clinical applications. They want to be able to visualize the interdependencies uh, of these applications to better understand any kind of, to better understand the impact around any kind of changes that they're making. Real-time monitoring is really what's uh, required for service level management, uh, as well as to be able to explain to, to managers and to executives, as I mentioned earlier, how well things are performing. And if things and the system is not performing well, where those issues are coming from. That leads uh, nicely into just a general ability to measure performance and availability, as opposed to measuring infrastructure uptime which is what uh, the traditional model uh, would deliver. And finally, event correlation to reduce mean time to repair. Uh, this comes down to the last bullet point on the screen, which is being able to very quickly filter through all the red alerts, prioritize to, uh, through them, and also identify the exact root cause uh, of different changes. This is what's this is what we're hearing, uh, and this is what we're seeing from our experience in the field uh, working with a number of uh, accounts. Today, we'll be focusing on a few of these as we talk about uh, business process monitoring and business process monitoring as that uh, aligns to the EHR and the clinical application environment. So before we get started with that, I'd like to explain what we mean when we talk about traditional system monitoring. Traditional system monitoring is something that you see at, at every, in every hospital, which is monitoring network uptime, monitoring server uptime, and monitoring infrastructure-centric performance. And we see that while that has worked in the past, with the explosive growth of EHR youth and with the attention that these, types, these applications are getting uh, across the enterprise, some of the challenges uh, from that approach to monitoring are, are really coming to the surface. Lack of centralized visibility. Having, a, having disparate tools for uh, monitoring the network, monitoring your servers, and monitoring individual things, it can be hard to have one clear and concise picture of how a given application is performing, how many users have had challenges logging in, and how many uh, system lags uh, have they seen, and what are the nature of those I issues that are coming up? Uh, instant diagnostics can also be onerous because when you've got different systems monitoring uh, the infrastructure, there's a lot more research that has to be done uh, when trying to figure out where a specific challenge is coming from. And that ties also into prioritizing alerts, knowing which alerts are impacting end user functionality and, and which are um, lower priority. Many healthcare organizations are taking steps to move into the cloud service environment, whether that be through SaaS-based applications or uh, hosting their clinical applications off-site. 
And measuring performance there can be a real challenge. Um, often, healthcare organizations uh, have to rely on the metrics being given to them by their vendors. And they have no means of authoritatively knowing uh, how many issues there were and what performance was like and what uptime was like over a given period. Also, infrastructure monitoring tells you how well the machines did. But most of us, uh, from an SLA perspective, want to know how well did we perform. And this is, again, a, a real challenge with the traditional approach to system monitoring. Taking into consideration all of this, uh, our team has worked with uh, organizations across North America uh, as using HP software to take a, a, a holistic approach to monitoring, as I had mentioned earlier in the call. Uh, this holistic approach starts from the end user level, measuring the transactions that end users see, and then tying those downstream uh, to infrastructure specific issues. At this time, I'll pass the mic over to Chris Tessier, and he'll walk through a performance and availability scenario that better explains what I mean. Thanks, Anir. So walking through this scenario, we'll do a comparison of uh, traditional system monitoring and also tying in some of the business process monitoring elements um, with this scenario. So we can see here um, on the left-hand portion of the screen, we have a, a graphic. So this is um, an Epic application. So within, that, within this application, we see it broken down to, to several sub-applications, so things like uh, clinical systems, PHRs, uh, portals and mobile applications, um, access and revenue, uh, integrated foundation. Um, what we will be uh, focusing on is the actual MyChart application here. So keep in mind as we go through this scenario, um, we're looking at the MyChart section of this and the items below that. So the main scenario is that um, doctors and patients can log into the MyChart application, although once they are logged into the application, they're unable to perform any meaningful functions. So if we look um, under the MyChart application, we'll see view chart is in red and also a schedule appointment is a red. So while the application is still up, um, there's still some issues within the application and users aren't able to, to perform functions within it. So one of the, the root causes that was determined from this downtime was that there was an application configuration error. And this is uh, surprisingly common. Um, you know, maybe um, you know, a link was broken between some of the um, subcomponents of the application. So it's causing the users uh, to not be able to perform the functions within that application. So this is a, a very common example where system monitoring alone is um, insufficient because in traditional system monitoring, it would show that all the systems being green are, are green. So there's no issues with the server itself. Um, there's no particular problems with the networking equipment um, tying those servers uh, and communication together. This is specifically an application-related um, performance and availability issue. So if we kind of dive into the scenario a little bit, um, in a common uh, traditional system monitoring environment, the issue will, will get submitted to the, the service desk and then possibly escalated to a level three support engineer and where the issue, the issue might be resolved there. So this is a really inefficient problem um, and incident resolution process because uh, if we tied in specific business process monitoring, we might be able to resolve that incident at a lower uh, level one, possibly service desk level. Simple traditional system monitoring cannot provide uh, a complete and accurate measurement of the overall IT business application and service levels. We're only seeing the actual infrastructure component um, monitoring uh, capabilities. So the solution here is to use, is to complement system monitoring with meaningful business process monitoring to help pinpoint exact issues and visualize the impact across the organization. So by doing this, we can measure performance by business function, business application, and also transactions. The traditional system monitoring um, doesn't provide visibility into the end user experience and the actual business transactions um, and applications. So that's what we're trying to augment here, the monitoring with um, that type of uh, monitoring. So monitoring the end user experience. And this is to help provide a top view um, for a holistic view of the entire service delivery. 
So as I mentioned uh, on the previous slide, we're tying in the system monitoring and business process monitoring with an integrated incident response. So aligning existing monitoring tools with automated response mechanisms, um, healthcare's are, healthcare organizations are able to improve availability, incident diagnostics, and uh, mean time to resolutions across the clinical application environment. So what we're essentially doing is using the technology and streamlining the processes to uh, enable frontline service desk uh, support staff to do, to do more by providing a clear picture of the IT infrastructure and logical business layers. Um, by doing this, you can also help focus expert resources on other strategic business activities and also reduce the mean time to repair. So leveraging, leveraging your level one support staff to process more incidents um, you know, by augmenting the information and correlating events that they're already receiving. So we're also using this business process monitoring and, and set of tools to maintain and also improve service levels. As I previously mentioned, uh, performing automatic event correlation, so to reduce the amount of events that are being seen by the uh, support desk staff, and also provide actionable steps to enable the frontline support staff. So based on this um, solution and scenarios, what we can do is um, through the integrated incident response, we can tie in some automation functions to roll back configuration changes. Um, you know, we can perform a health check and diagnostics check on a server, um, perform shutdowns, uh, restarts of application services, um, automatically generate remediation workflows, so a workflow to perform the incident resolution and, and close the ticket out eventually as well too. Also prioritize incidents based on risk profiles. So a simple example that we have here is um, a compliancy alert coming into um, the event management system. Our remediation engine will automatically run it, so it can take in multiple events, and so 10 plus events, for example. It can combine them to a single event and automatically assign that to the specific support engineer. So by doing this event, relation, event correlation, uh, what we're doing is reducing the amount of events, so increasing productivity of the support staff. Um, we're closing more incidents at the level one and level two um, stages. And by doing this, what we're doing is reducing the bur burden of the level three support staff and also reducing cost um, for those particular um, subject matter experts and employees. So as I previously mentioned, um, the main thing that we're talking here is the proactive business process monitoring. So as I mentioned before, um, what we're doing is proactively, uh, consistently, and repeatedly monitoring the end user experience globally. So what we can do is uh, perform monitoring at multiple sites across the globe. Um, so monitoring internal applications as well as cloud hosted applications. And what we are providing is um, a measure of the overall end user experience uh, for various applications. So web based applications, um, any internal type applications, we can perform the process monitoring on. Um, monitoring other applications such as uh, mobile applications, cloud applications, uh, web 2.0 applications, they're all possible of being monitored with business process monitoring. Uh, this in turn is accelerating the time to resolution with detailed component breakdown. So specific work instructions um, provided to the support staff to help resolve those issues. And as I mentioned previously, measuring performance from multiple locations, um, whether they be internal or external locations. So if we look to the left-hand side of the, the slide here, this just goes through an overview of what the actual process monitoring is doing. So we're monitoring the performance of the applications, of uh, the systems as well, um, the uptime of the, the applications as well from a business perspective. So making sure that you're meeting your service level agreements. Um, and this is where we're tying in the service level management. Traditional monitoring is being tied in as well too, so we're, we're getting the entire visibility. And then um, from this visibility across the entire infrastructure and uh, business applications, we can tie incident response and remediation and enforce compliance as well. So with that, I'll pass it over to Anu here to walk through our 30 days to value solution. Um, which is essentially a quick start business process monitoring solution. Thanks, Chris. 
so as I had alluded to at the beginning of the presentation, we have worked with clients, uh, healthcare clients in the U.S. and Canada, and identified that a lot of the folks we work with are seeing the same types of challenges. The same types of applications are having issues, and the same types of issues are surfacing uh, across the board. Taking that knowledge um, and transferring that into technology, we have developed uh, a 30-day quick start solution. This 30-day quick start solution leverages HP software and is designed to be a, a starter offering uh, of this uh, business process monitoring uh, solution that we advocate. The 30-day solution uh, starts with an, an assessment of existing monitoring tools. And this, you know, I, though it's the first bullet, it's one that is very important. A lot of the clients that we work with, they know that they've got dozens of monitoring tools. They may have server monitoring, network monitoring, security is going to have uh, their own monitoring. And not all the tools are talking to each other, and not all the teams are talking to each other. So the first thing that we do is do an assessment of the existing monitoring solution to understand uh, where the synergies are, where the untapped synergies are, and also where business process monitoring fits into uh, the existing picture. We then configure specific monitors to measure server performance and availability uh, within the environment of one uh, or two selected EHR or clinical applications. We configure transaction-specific monitors to capture performance, up, uptime, and diagnostic metrics for up to two business applications. And that's along the lines of the scenario that Chris walked you through uh, when he first started his part of the presentation. So those transaction-specific monitors would measure log into my chart, view my chart, schedule an appointment, log out, just as an example. And they would relay to the operations team exactly how performance was over the, the measurement period and where the issues were coming from over the measurement period. And we would deliver then uh, application-specific uh, performance assessment reports. So based on what we what has been monitored, what's the value to the organization uh, over this time? And finally, we'd establish uh, service level management for up to two applications. Again, the idea being to move away from uh, just measuring the performance of infrastructure and deliver monitoring that is more aligned to the organization's strategic goals. And that is um, directly seen through service level management and the service level management uh, reports. So again, a lot of the, the logic here is coming from extensive interviews and extensive work that we've done with uh, EHR users from Epic to Cerner to Allscript uh, and GE McKesson and a number of others. Working with them, we've developed a specific uh, out-of-the-box ways of doing things uh, that enable us to deliver such quick value in, in such a short period of time. Uh, Chris, is there anything else uh, you'd like to mention about the 30 days to value offering? Um, no, I think. Great. Uh, so that, that wraps up uh, the material that we had for today. Um, at this point, we will be opening up the floor for questions. If you do have a question, please feel free to select the icon to raise your hand in the meeting. Once we see that your hand is raised, uh, we will go through. Um, we will go through, unmute you, and you can go ahead and ask your question. Uh, what I'll do at the beginning is address the questions in the question manager. So, whoever submitted questions over the course of the presentation, we will go over those now. So the question that I'm seeing here is from Terry Savage. And the question is, is Configure Consulting working with Epic? And would Epic endorse Configure Consulting? Uh, would does Epic support Configure Consulting's performance and availability solution? So while we are not currently working directly with Epic, uh, Terry, thank you for your question, by the way. We are working with end users uh, of Epic and end users of other EHR platforms. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, it's through our coordination with them that we have developed uh, the specifics of the solution. Does anyone else have any other questions at this time? Oh, 
Okay. Well, in that case, uh, we can wrap up. Uh, we can wrap up early here. Uh, once again, I thank you all for attending and taking the time uh, out of your day. For those of you on the west coast, out of your morning, and for those of you on the east coast, out of your afternoon. Our contact information is on the screen. Uh, please feel free to reach out to either myself or Chris should you have any questions that you think about later on around what we've presented, around the 30-day to value offering, or anything, uh, any of the material we've covered here. Thanks again for attending, and have a great day.